Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are back at it with Tricks for Lyrics. We are going to be looking at the Click Assignment tool as well as the Shift Lyrics tool. Now, the Click Assignment tool will literally allow you to copy and paste whole lyrics into your uh, Finale uh, Lyrics window here, and then one by one, or all at once, uh, assign them to the notes in the score. Now, there's a few tricks to this, so I, I do want to make sure I cover this in, in depth because... Uh, you know the the click assignment can be finicky, and if you don't get it right, you're going to end up with results that are going to be that are just going to frustrate you. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my word processor here. I've got the lyrics to Amazing Grace, and I'm just going to copy this uh, first verse here. Go back into Finale and the Finale lyric window, and go ahead and paste it. And there's a few things you'll notice right off the bat is that it will paste the formatting. So you'll see that I've got the, uh, the, the font uh, pasted as well. The Petaluma Script 16 plane that it was in the, in the word processor gets pasted into the lyric window, which is not necessarily what I want. Um, the other thing that happens is that the words are not hyphenated, which is going to be a problem when you start assigning them to the score. Obviously, you don't want the whole word amazing to appear on the, the first D there, right? Um, so you will have to go through and either manually add the hyphens, or I'm going to show you another uh, trick to doing this. Um, so the problem with pasting in what we call rich text, is, which is basically text with formatting, um, is that you know the, the, f the formatting gets, gets pasted in. W the advantage is that when you do rich text pasting, um, any line return that I have, like I have here, um, will behave like a space. So even though it doesn't appear that there's a space between the end of the line and the beginning of the next line, um, Finale will treat that as if there is a space. So the word sound and that will not be uh, created as one piece. Um, that little information will uh, be relevant in a second when I show you something else. So let's go back to this uh, word processor. I'm going to copy this um, copy this verse again. Now on a Mac, we you should have a program called Text Edit, and with the Text Edit, I'm just going to open a new document and paste those lyrics in. Now, uh, you know, it will t paste these lyrics in as uh, rich text, so the formatting will get uh, pasted. But the great thing about text edit is that in the format menu here, uh, we have this option for make plain text, and it will ask if you want to convert, and click OK, and you'll see that it will uh, convert it to plain text. Now, this plain text has no formatting attached to it, so whenever you paste this into that lyric window in Finale, it will use the format, it will use the text and formatting that exists for as the default for that verse. So from here, I can copy this and paste it back into Finale, and it will retain the proper font. So now it says Finale Lyrics 12 Plain. The disadvantage of this, uh, and, and this relates to what I was talking about before, is that the return, the line returns don't convert to spaces. They just, uh, you'll see that it, the the words just butt up against each other, which is not great. So you can either put in more returns, or uh, actually a space will do the same thing. But if you want to make it look like uh, like a verse here, you can just use the return. So now Finale will recognize those returns as having, you know, a space between those words. All right. Still, it's not hyphenated though. So that's always a problem. You always have to go through and hyphenate it. One more way to do this, which I think is the preferable way, is I'm going to go back to the original text here and copy this verse one more time. Uh, there is a great online utility. Juicy O'Brennan has this uh, website, which I'll uh, put the link to in the, um, in the description for the video, <coughs> which will allow you to paste in your uh, text, and you'll see that it automatically pastes it as plain text, not as formatted text. And then it has a button here, very conveniently, will hyphenate your text automatically. And so it will go through and find any multiple, syla multiple syllabic words and hyphenate them. Now we can just simply copy this text and paste it into Finale. And once again, it will not um, treat the, re the line returns as spaces. So you will actually have to go through and fix that. All right, so we'll just add the returns there. I could have added spaces as well. It would do the same thing. All right, so now, now we're prepared to uh, uh, click assign these. It has to be in the right formatting. So again, this is just proving my point that this is, is, is a little finicky. Um, so now we just click on the click assignment tool, which is the second tool. And if your cursor in the window happened to be at the very beginning, it will select that very first um, uh, syllable there. And then go into your score, click once to deactivate the window. 
and now you get a get some crosshairs and you can literally just click on each note and it will put it in syllable by syllable just like this and you can skip over syllables for melismas to get it in the right place all right, so it's actually not so bad once you know how to do this. Uh, again, the formatting has to be correct. The hyphens have to be in there. Otherwise, this will not work at all. Let's just finish this up. It's pretty quick, actually. All right. Now, once you're done, if you want to add more lyrics, that's just as easy as well. Just come down to the lyrics window and make sure that your cursor's at the end here. Actually, we can even put a return there if we want. Um, let's go back to the original source text, and I'm going to copy and paste um, the second verse. Now, I did something clever in the second verse. Um, I've already prepared this. There's actually a space after the line before the line returns. So I know I kind of uh, anticipated that problem with the... Uh, with the automatic hyphenator not recognizing the uh, the line return. So now we can copy this with those extra spaces in there. Go back to my uh, Juicy O'Brennan uh, hyphenator, paste, hyphenate my text, and it will do that, and it's also it retains those extra spaces in there. Now we can copy here, go back to Finale, and paste at the end of the lyrics window here. Oops, there we go, paste. And uh, you will see that uh, it will not recognize the returns from the Juicy O'Brennan, but it will actually recognize the spaces that I put in. So that's really handy. All right. And then from here, all you need to do is just highlight that first note that you want to start click assigning, which is the you know the first note of the second or the first lyric of the second verse there. And when, with that highlighted again, click once to deactivate the window, and then you can start clicking uh, the second verse in. All right. Now. Uh, in addition to single clicking, we can do this all at once. If you hold down the option key uh, and click a note, uh, you'll see that it will uh, put the lyrics in from that point forward. Now there is a few problems with this mass click assignment uh, technique as I just showed you. Uh, it will recognize spaces, so it won't put a lyric on a space, and it will recognize ties, so it won't actually put a lyric on a tie, although you know that in type and score, you can actually put lyrics on space, on rests and ties. However, it will not recognize um, uh, melismas still. So you see that there's actually two words on, this, um, uh, on these notes here. So that is a problem, which is solved by the second part of this lesson, which is the uh, shift lyrics tool, which is the second to last tool here. And when you click it, you get this little window asking you what you want to do. Shift lyrics to the right or the left. In this case, I'm going to choose right. And there's a subtle difference between shift syllables by one note to the o next open note and shift syllables by one note to the end of the lyric. I'm going to choose to the end of the lyric for now, and hopefully I'll be able to show you the difference between the two. Um, essentially what this is going to do now that you've clicked OK is that every time you click on a note with a word, that word is going to shift to the right and everything to the right of it is also going to shift to the right. So I'll click there and the, the red of already gets shifted to the right. Now again, I need it on this word. Everything shifts to the right. Again, it's ignoring the tie, which is good. Um, the trick to this actually is if, if you see your melismas with the slurs, you, it's really simple to just realize you just have to s click on the uh, the end of the uh, slur, um, just like that. Although I suppose that would only work if you have a, a two notes slurred together. If you had three notes slurred together, you'd have to keep clicking over. Uh, all right, so that's how that works. Um, so uh, let me just show you. If you click on the uh, click uh, the um, shift lyrics tool again, you'll get the shift lyrics. And again, I, I've got to the end of lyric selected here. If I had chosen shift syllables or one note to the next open note instead, some things will happen. Like you see here, I've got the word thus here, and there's an open note on the next one, although it's not, you know, it, it's a melisma, so technically it's not open, but Finale considers this an open note. So now when I click on the thus, it will just move the thus without actually moving far. So that's, uh, that's what's going on with um, th the difference between those two. And we can also shift left. And we're going to do the same thing with uh, to, to, to the next open note, shift left. And the way the shift left works is you don't actually click the, the, the word, the note with the word on it. You click before. All right. So in the case of the word far, I'm going to click this open note here. And you'll see that it will move everything. And because I had, this is where it gets a little weird, because I had that, that uh, second option where it's shifting left to the, f to the next open note, 
Um, it's actually, what you'll see is that it will shift everything up until will because there is an open note after the word will. So I guess that's what's going on there. If I had chosen the other option, shifting left uh, to the end of lyric, then it will shift all of the lyrics uh, to the left, as you can see, right? So now I've got that. We can always go back, shift right to the end of the lyric, OK, and we're good to go. Now there is a third option in that window, rotate syllables. Um, this is a big little question mark for me. Uh, I don't fully understand the purpose of this. Um, supposedly it's supposed to rotate the lyrics to the right, but I don't really know what that means. So if I click on the thus, what you'll see is the safe gets moved over here and then everything goes to the right. Um, so it's duplicating this lyric here, which is, I'm not sure what the purpose of that <laughs> is. And uh, same thing if I had gone left, it's a, it's a little weird. Uh, you click on a note and the far gets moved to the left and it deletes the thus. So uh, I'm not 100% certain of the usefulness of the rotate syllable option here, but um, it is there. Maybe somebody has a, a, a good, better explanation of that than I do. Um, and then also, you know, just with the shift lyrics, don't forget that you can use the shift lyrics tool uh, if you're typing into the score instead of, you know, you don't have to use only use it when you're doing the click assignment tool. You can actually, you know, if you make a mistake, if you forget to s double space over a rest or a melisma or something, you could use the shift lyrics tool uh, to very quickly just move all of your lyrics to the uh, right or left uh, in, and, uh, you know, save yourself from deleting and, and retyping in some words if you've gone too far. And then finally, we can always, um, with the click assignment, we can always, you know, uh, click assign again. So if I just go back to that click assignment and I've got the uh, uh highlighted here, I can always go into the alto line and option click to assign all of those lyrics to the alto part again. And when you do that, it will, uh, you know, if I just did all at once. It will, you know, keep that first word highlighted. I could actually do that, you know, on all the other parts as well. Of course, now I'm going to have to go through and do the shift lyrics thing you know, shift right to the end of the lyrics, and this is gonna take me a while, but you get the idea uh, of how this will work, right? So, you know, the shift lyrics tool is there. It's occasionally handy. Um, it's not my preferred method of putting in lyrics, but, uh, you know, if you get the hang of it, sometimes it can, s it can save you some time, particularly if you have the ly lyrics already typed out somewhere. You just kind of have to know the tricks to them and make sure that you do it the, the proper way. Otherwise, you're gonna get into uh, you're going to get into some trouble with it. All right. Uh, so I believe that's it. That is the click assignment for lyrics as well as the shift lyrics. Hopefully this has helped. And uh, thanks for watching. Come back. We've got some more videos on lyrics coming up. All right. I will see you then. Thanks for watching.